Zara's new odds prove that allegations will not slow him down. After the accusations against Alabama's Senate candidate Roy Moore, the conventional wisdom was that Democrat Doug Jones was a shoe in to win. Things seem to have etched much closer in recent days. The polls were in our mixed bag. Real clear politics, whose polling average is generally considered the most accurate barometer of these things, shows Jones and Moore in a statistical dead heat at 46.5% to 46.3%. However, that's taken from a sample of post-allegation polling that varies wildly, with some showing Jones up by 8 and others showing more up by 10. Thus, it's difficult at times like these, it's important to turn to people who have some skin in the game, namely, bettors. That's right, although it's technically illegal, you can bet on political elections. The most popular market is predicted which bills itself as a real money site that tests your knowledge of political and financial events by letting you make and trade predictions on the future. In other words, you're buying stock in a particular candidate, the more likely that candidate is to win, the more expensive that stock will be. If that sounds an awful lot like betting, that's because it is. According to the Gateway Pundit, Predict It said that, before the Washington Post story broke, Roy Moore was almost a lock to win at 89% in Predict It's Alabama Senate Trace Prediction Market. T to judge where the ebb and flow of public opinion is going. After the allegations surfaced, Moore's odds dropped to 59% that day. He remained a slight favorite over Doug Jones, who also saw a significant bump on the news, until Monday when a fifth woman came forward with allegations against Moore. On Monday afternoon, for the first time in the race, Predict It traders had Doug Jones in the lead at 47% to Moore's 38%. Sounds pretty bad, right? Well, check out what Predict It looked like as of early Tuesday morning. For the betting illiterate, that means that Moore's odds have etched up towards 60%, while Jones are at 40%. The one-cent stocks in other candidates are mostly there for nominal reasons, just in case you want to bet heavily on someone aside from Moore and Jones and someone has stocks in those individuals to sell. If the former so happens to be the case, may I direct you to any number of rehab centers capable of handling a dual diagnosis of problem gambling and substance abuse? Here's another handy chart of the odds moving over the past few days. While that's not necessarily up to the 89% lock Moore was at before the scandal broke, it's clear he's on the upswing for the moment among political bettors. Now, of course, gambling markets don't predict everything, remember last November, folks, and there's always the chance these people are simply misreading how the people of Alabama feel about the charges leveled against Mr. Moore. However, at least among those who are willing to put some money on this thing, Roy Moore seems to be the man to beat, man to beat.